Mr. Wright here and welcome to my predictions film for the NXL IGCSE maths exams this summer, that's summer 2024. Now before we start, let me tell you how I have come up with these predictions. What I've done is I've combed through the last 12 IGCSE papers and categorised each question and then I've worked out how often each topic comes up. So then we can make a very good educated guess on what topics are most likely to come up this summer. And some topics are key. They are likely to come up at least once on every paper, if not three or four times across the two papers which you'll be sitting. So I will take you through my predictions in a moment and I will also tell you where you can download the document that I'm reading from because then you can have your own copy of this target list of topics to work from yourself. Now before I do that let me just mention my past paper club. You may already be doing regular past paper practice in which case that is great but if you'd like a hand with this you can join my past paper club. I run it every week on a Tuesday night you pay simply £10 and you can join me for the two hour slot on a Tuesday evening and we will work through a past paper together. And I will put the link to the details of, past, of my past paper club in the description of this film. Right, let's get on with the predictions. Let's first of all have a look at those topics which are likely to come up once at least across the two papers this summer. Right, here's the document and in yellow here I have got all those topics which I reckon will come up at least once on your two papers. They've got a 50% there because they come up on 50% of the papers on average and of course you're going to take two papers, hence we think that they will come up at least once across your two papers. So let's just have a look at these topics using products of prime factors. That is finding HCFs and LCMs with prime factors, four operations with mixed numbers, sine rule and cosine rule in the area of the triangle using that trig formula for that, quadratic equations, transforming curves, serds, cumulative frequency, that would be including the cumulative frequency tables, finding medians, finding interquartile ranges, drawing cumulative frequency curves, Venn diagrams, Vectors, now there's a tricky topic. Venn diagram vectors is a very good one to aim at if you are going for those top grades because very often the questions on vectors are pretty feisty and appear at the end of the paper. Uh, quadratic graphs, another good one for those of you aiming for the top grades. Linear programming, that's where you draw a line and you shade one side or the other of it, so solving inequalities graphically. Standard form, writing numbers in standard form, writing standard form numbers as ordinary numbers and calculations using standard form. Pythagoras, of course, is a regular topic. Ratio, cones, pyramids and spheres, they are predicted to come up at least once in your two papers. Similar shapes, remember that you can use properties of similar shapes to work out dimensions, lengths and widths areas and also volumes, rearranging formula, circle theorems, sequences. Now again, that's a good topic for those of you going for the top grade, especially those harder sequences questions which involve using the formula for the sum of a sequence. Um, differentiation, again a good topic for those of you going for the top grades. Often differentiation questions appear towards the end of the paper. They involve you finding maximums and minimums and also finding acceleration from velocity formulas, that sort of thing. Functions and polygons. That is the end of my list of topics which I reckon will come up once, possibly twice, across your two papers. Right, let's move on to blue topics. Now, the blue topics are those I reckon will come up once probably twice. Let's start at the bottom of this blue topic list. Now, simultaneous equations. Now, these often come up twice. Often there's one question with linear simultaneous equations, and then another question where one of the equations is quadratic. 
In the last set of papers, I noticed that there was a solve simultaneous equations graphically question, so you might want to be ready for that too. Bounds is a topic that comes up once, if not twice, across the two papers. Finding the limits of a variable and using the lower bound or the upper bound in further calculations. Problems involving the circumference in the areas of circles. You probably feel like you've been doing c equals pi d and a equals pi r squared since about year seven. But here they are, they come up on 75% of the papers. So that would mean that you would expect definitely one question, if not two, across your two papers in the summer. Linear equations, obviously a favourite. Mean, median, mode and range problems and interquartile range problems, especially problems where you're told the mean and the number of data items and you need to work out the total to solve the problem. Expanding brackets, that should be um, but basic nuts and bolts for you. And remember, those questions might involve expanding three brackets. Now, expanding three brackets is thought of as being a harder question, a kind of grade seven-ish question, but everyone can do it with a bit of practice. Factorizing quadratics, of course, comes up often, and trigonometry in two dimensions or three dimensions. I am expecting two questions on trigonometry across your two papers. Right, we're going to move on to those topics which come up more than once on every paper on average. But before I do that, here's a last plug for my past paper club. You can join the past paper club any week you like. It runs every Tuesday. You will find details via the link in the description of this film. What happens is that you sign up, I email you a past paper, and then we spend two hours together online on a Tuesday evening, working our way through that paper together. And I can help you with spotting which topics are coming up regularly across the past papers. I can help you by revising the key concepts and the key methods that you need to answer each question. So I hope you'll consider joining me on a Tuesday night for Past Paper Club. Right. Let's go on to these topics I've highlighted in green. Now, these are topics which come up on average more than once in every paper. So you would be expecting them to come up more than twice across the two papers you're going to sit. Coordinate geometry. OK, so finding gradients of lines, finding equations of lines between two points finding the equations of um, tangents, perhaps, and that sort of thing. Percentages. Now, there's a lot in percentages. There's percentage changes. There's compound percentage changes. There's percentage profit. There's percentage loss. There's writing numbers as a percentage. There's an awful lot on percentages. Questions involving indices and powers, including negative indices and fractional indices. You need to do some firm revision of that. And lastly, probability. Now, they could, that could be questions involving probability trees, probability from a Venn diagram, probability from a table, and problems involving probability too. So those are the predictions, my predictions, for the summer 2024 IGCSE maths papers. Now, in the description of this film, you will find a link which will enable you to download this document. The reason I suggest you do that is that on the right hand side, you'll see that I've provided useful links. Those are links to playlists on the channel which deal with each of these topics. Also at the bottom here, you will find a link to 100 IGCSE questions in 80 minutes. So if you are approaching your exams, you might just want to sit and work your way through 100 quick IGCSE questions. And if you're aiming for a grade 6, 7, 8 or, or a 9, 2, you would do well to work through those sets of grade 6 to 8 IGCSE questions. There's a link at the bottom of this document. So download the document. Good luck with your revision. And let me know if I can help. Thanks for watching. See you in the next film.